recognize the pervasive nature of blood, the viscous fluid that permeates us all, the glistening fresh blood that stains our knees when we fall, the shades of red when we prick our fingers, and the little crimson tide of complex red drops trickling through the syringe or vacuum when we go to have our blood tested. Our blood may sometimes tell part of our tale in the most unique silent voice, which is heard only through appropriate lab investigations. Sometimes we may find fluctuations in the background that are beyond the mere anonymous noise, but an inner silent scream that resounds early before symptoms may the full sound. The secret, blended and buried in the drops of serum, plasma and whole blood, are usually sought when fueled by clinical questions or during a routine checkup. Although no crystal balls exist in this day and age, a peak may be provided into the pathophysiology for homeostasis and flux that ebbs and flows within our blood. The burden of the cause and effect of particular symptoms and the outstanding questions swirling in one's mind lead many people to seek medical attention. Their own blood is sometimes one of the ultimate weapons used in the diagnostic processes. The range of blood tests that may be performed in the lab are extensive and the range from hematological investigations to the biochemistry, immunology and microbiology amongst others. Unraveling chemical pathology focuses mainly on the clinical chemistry investigations. In research settings, driven by an unadulterated desire to know more, the repertoire of what is being tested for goes even beyond what is offered in the clinical setting. From bleeding to a red colored wilted rose, from fantasy to reality, sometimes new tests are found and made available for clinical use. From patient to test tubes, one sees far more than what meets the eye. There were once allegedly those who hunted elves. These days you may also find others intent on hunting and unveiling scientific and medical truths. Derive at length with the tips of myth.